there. I wanted to come to you and do a quick eye um, look. Um, I've already done one eye because I didn't think you wanted to sit through two. So I'll show you quickly um, how to get this eye look. There's um, four colors and actually I have not put on my mascara yet, but um, there's four colors that I've used um, and I've put them in this nice little um, compact for you. Um, the colors are called Sabrina, um, Stardust, Finn, and Cole. And so I'll use these four colors. And I also used one of our contour colors to fill in my brows. So this is a contour color, and I've just used it to, to fill in my brows. So I'll show you everything real quickly, and we'll just get started. So... There's so many different ways to do eyeshadow. Um, in my case, sometimes I just sweep over the whole, um, most of the, um, most of my eye up to my crease with um, one color. Um, I'm going to use this Stardust here, and it's a glittery kind, well not glittery, it's shimmery. Um, and I'm going to just kind of go down here um, and just kind of put that on um, over most of my lid um, up to and maybe even a little over my crease. Um, I have primed my eyelid with a little um, foundation color so um, but you don't have to it's totally up to you. Um, the next step is we're going to take this color Finn, and I'm just going to kind of do almost like an ombre, so you see it kind of goes from lightest to darkest. So, um, I'm going to take my Finn, which is this color here, and I'm going to use the same brush, and I'm going to just pop some of this Finn in here, and, um, a little goes a long way because, oof. Cause it was, it's really pigmented and I just really went a wild with that, but that's okay. You can just, um, kind of just sweep and blend until you get it where you want it. And then the third color I'm going to use is my darker color. It's called coal. And uh, what I usually do with coal is take it and kind of, just, I don't really ever make a proper seven. I just kind of have a V here or a whatever triangle and then kind of um, manage to just um, do lots of sweeping and blending to kind of blend that together. And I don't know what's going on, but I went a little out of control there. So I love our brushes and our cream makeup because you can just kind of wipe a little if you need to. And then I just keep blending. Just keep blending. Um, so I take that coal, like I said, and have it there on the edge, on the corner. And usually I just drag it here underneath my eye as well. And then the last thing I'm gonna do, I just I use the same brush. This is our mask, um, our um, eyeshadow everything brush. And I'm just using the fluffy end for all of my blending and most of my application. And then I'll take this um, end that's a little more pointed and a little more dense to kind of, if I want to make, you know, make sure I have color where it needs to be. And then I'm going to take this light color that's called Sabrina and it has a little shimmer as well. And I'm going to just kind of pop Sabrina right there in the corner of my eye. I'm going to look in this little mirror so I can see what I'm doing. Um, in the corner of my eye and up here on the top of my brow to pick up a little shimmer. Oftentimes, I will 
also take some um, illuminator and pop some illuminator here in the top of my brows to make it a little shimmery, which is the same thing I have here on my nose and on my cheeks. So Holly, um, my sister Holly, she, um, I don't know who she heard this from, but I have heard her say many times that your brows do not have to be, um, they don't have to be twins. They just need to be sisters, not your brows. Well, your brows, but also your eyes. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to do a little more blending. And another fun trick is that I'll often use my Buffy blush brush or whichever brush I've used, any of them really, to put on my makeup. And if it gets a little crazy and gets in the, comes out too far, we'll um, use the Buffy brush to like wipe things off. I like to call it our magic eraser. Um, so then for my brows, I usually take, um, this is a contour color actually called, um, shadow and it's the one I use for my nose contour. And sometimes I'll also pop it under my, um, under my lips just to give it a little more of, um, some depth there and a little shadow, hence the name. Um, but I also will pop it into my brows and use this, this is called the hotline brush, or I think it's called the line brush now, and it's got this little end that's very um, stiff, kind of, and it's good for wisping up those brows, and um, also a spoolie end. So, I have a funny story about, I always tell it about, um, I was kind of dermaplaning my face, and I was super confident and I was like, oh, this is really fun. And this was several months ago and I pretty much cut off the end of my brow. So <laughs> yeah, fun times. So I have to be careful. And sometimes I have to draw in the end part of that brow. Yeah. Just goes to show you can pretty much fix anything. Um, you know, I feel like our eye looks never are look perfectly done until we pop our mascara on. So today I'm going to use, um, this is Thrive. It's one of those tubing mascaras that kind of coat your eye, um, your eyelashes with kind of a tube. And I like it a lot. Um, it's grown on me actually. I used to, well, I still use often, um, Essence, which is like the best deal on the planet. They actually, I just saw, have a tubing mascara as well. And it is like $5 on Amazon. So um, it's one of my favorite things as well. But I happened to just grab my Thrive and we're at the beach and I didn't bring everything with me. So I have the Thrive with me today. I didn't even bring my um, eyelash primer. So I'm just going pretty um, easy going. Um, so yeah, give it a good uh, tweak with the mascara. It's funny to me how everybody puts mascara on differently. I always hit my upper lashes first. Uh, every, I always make this face and so unattractive, the makeup face, but anything to look pretty in the end, eh? All right, there we go. Again, our, um, our look today is made with these four colors sabrina stardust philly and coal and i am gonna pop a little more of my lip color on this is black cherry which i love and i'm gonna let my hair down 
which looks crazy now, but that's okay. And that, my friends, is today's eye look. I hope you enjoy it. And super easy. It takes no time at all. And I'm happy to help if anybody would like to have a little tutorial. Have a wonderful holiday season.